What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Beanie Siegel and Jada Kiss have teamed up for a collaboration titled De Niro. In anybody else's hands, if I see the word De Niro as a song title, I'm going to probably run the other way. It's such a generic subject matter that every single rapper almost tackles at some point. So it's like, how do you keep coming up with fresh ideas to talk about money? In the case of Beanie Siegel and Jadakiss, they reflect on the negatives of money. You know, what happens when you're trying to pursue the dollar. And before we get into the whole song, the song is a part of Magnum's Gold Compound Project. Yes, that Magnum. They teamed up with hip-hop artists and a few R&B singers, or not a few, just one, excuse me, and... They put together this three-track project that they've been uh, rolling out since June. The first song was Dave East and BJ the Chicago Kid. The second one was um, Joey Badass and Jim Jones. And the final one is Beanie Siegel and Jadakiss. Now, what separates this one from the other two is that the other two are first-time collaborations. You've never seen that before. This one, we've seen this collaboration before. They've been on records together. They're very much familiar with each other. And on top of that, they might even be doing an album together. Um, you know, about a month ago, or even like two, it's, it's hard to remember, but they were rumored to be, you know, plying an album, a tour, uh, you know, sell it independently, all that stuff. I did a video about it. I'll link in the description section. Getting into De Niro, like I said, it's about the pursuit of the dollar sign. And what's good about Siegel and Kiss is that they have so much knowledge from being in the music industry for, you know, what is it, almost like two decades now for each of them. So this is the type of wisdom and knowledge that you really can't get otherwise without, you know, the time, the experience of being around money. So like Siegel, Siegel lets off a lot of gems in this song. I think his verse was better than Jada Kiss's. Um, but that's not to really, like, say Jada Kiss spit a whack verse. He didn't. He came with some lines, too. But I think Siegel really killed it because he had those quotables, those gems. He says, the dollars ain't shit without the knowledge. Um, if money makes your world go round, you got a problem. I've always resonated with stuff like that because I don't put money as a, a higher imper importance. I look at money as it's something you have to have, but I'm not like, okay, I need to get money. I need to get money. Like, I want to do what I want to do, you know, what I'm passionate about, and I know the money will come from there. That's always been, like, my philosophy about everything. Um, the two are really good at painting images. And, you know, it's something that if you've listened to Siegel and Kiss, you, you already know this. But on this particular record, you got, you know, Kiss rapping about ex-kingpins working at Walgreens. Like, that's a powerful image to think about. Like, damn, you went from the top all the way to the bottom. It's, it's one of those lines that has a lot of meaning to it. Um, you know, Siegel talks about uh, Nino Brown popping G-Money, which was uh, like an iconic movie scene in New Jack City. And it all kind of goes back to that pursuit of money and, you know, what it can do to people, even friends. Uh, Jada Kiss also says he's seen money you know, tear apart entire families. And I think a lot of us have seen that as well. So, you know, the, the record itself is relatable. There's a lot of gems dropped. Um, there's no hook on this project or on this song. The only thing that's in between the hook is a quote from Ian Rand. And it's about money being the root of all evil, but also asking what is the root of money. Uh, part of the quote was, those pieces of paper that should have been gold are a token of honor. And then Kiss comes in and explains, you know, that's why people hate you. Because you have this money and it's a sign of honor. And they don't have it, so they envy you. They hate you. And, and that's really where Kiss comes in with his verse. Overall, De Niro is a reminder of what the potential of a Seagull Kiss collaboration album can be. And I really do hope that this leads into more. Because we saw them talking about it in their little um, backstage video clip. And I really think it'd be a really good project. I think, I don't know how much hype it got. It got some, you know, blog coverage. But I don't know how much hype it got. It's not one of those projects that you just go, oh my god, this is crazy. I can't wait for this. It's one of those projects that you're like, okay, if it comes, I'll listen to it. And then when you listen to it, you'll be amazed. Because 
Siegel and Jada Kiss don't deliver anything but quality work. So we'll see if that actually materializes and hopefully it does because I really do want that. But for now, I'm going to continue to replay and enjoy De Niro and you should do the same. I'll include the link in the SoundCloud. Uh, include the link to SoundCloud in the description section below. Let me know your thoughts on the record De Niro, Jada Kiss, Beanie Siegel. And like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video, follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time, I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.